myself, is this age appropriate? You know, somebody had mentioned something when I had worn an other hairpiece and they said, yeah, you know what? You're probably a little bit too long in the tooth, which I took to mean old, uh, to pull that off. So, uh, you know, I'm aware of the fact that you can get kind of funny looking or silly looking when you do certain things when you're, when you're older, let's put it that way. But I don't think I'm there yet. I still have such a young spirit. I think I have a young heart and I like having fun. And I am the first person to poke fun at myself. So I enjoyed the heck out of that little pony. So my sister is daring me to wear it on Mother's Day because she's coming down. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'm going to wear it on Mother's Day yet. But I, uh, I did like it. I did like it a lot. It's just a just kind of a different funky look, you know what I mean? So so anyways, we'll see. It's Monday, a brand new week, and it's not raining. And I was, like, really happy when the royal baby was born. I don't know why. I just, seeing, seeing Prince Harry stand there and announce the birth of his son and then talk about how much he admires, or I don't even remember his words, but basically, I'm going to paraphrase, he was in awe of the strength of his wife or any woman who goes through childbirth. I think he said it's just incredible, something like that, to see what you do, women. I mean, how touching is that? You know, that he came out and he stood there and he announced to the world the birth of his child. And you could just read, at least I could, the joy on his face. I thought that was pretty awesome. I really did. What did you guys think? Hey, guys, I just want to share these absolutely adorable adorable earrings with you. Aren't they just the cutest? I'm going to come up close. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. The company called Stella and Dot. I will link the information and the website link for you, but let me just tell you, these came in this morning and I fell in love with them. They are so comfortable. And the really cool thing is that they're reversible. So you can take them and it slides out. And you can see I have a orange and a white. So I could create more of an orange look with a white look. They're reversible in that sense. And I also have a little green. I haven't opened it up yet. So then I have like a medium leaf, and these are like leather. One side is green, one side is purple, and you can do the same thing. You can actually create smaller earrings. You can layer these on top of each other, and then there's a smaller one, and this is a light pink and a yellow. And just imagine the different looks you can get by putting the different color combinations together. Pink and the purple. These, obviously, I have the bigger leaf and then I have the pink leaf on the bottom. So you could do the same thing. I've had these on all day. Actually, I've been, um, I've been working all day. And I just came home and I just wanted to share this with you because I've, I've worn these all day. They're not heavy. They're absolutely so super comfortable. I bought two different pairs. This is one pair. Now they're not they're not inexpensive, but when you think about the different looks you can get and how pretty these are, just check these out. I can't wait to wear these. I just think these are such a pretty, pretty color. That's my little indulgence that I had this week with earrings. Oh, and I got in my order from Walgreens. Walgreens. I had placed an order in Walgreens. I haven't got the whole thing in yet, so I'm not going to not going to go into too much of a detail on a review, but I had placed this order in Walgreens, and it takes a while, so I got three more CYO's foundation. Yes. I decided to try their setting spray. So this is called a fixing, a CYO fixing spray. I wanted to try that. I also wanted to try their matte and blur primer. 
their illuminating mixing cream. So I thought this would be a really good thing to try because it can lighten up some of the foundations because the, the foundations that I got, and I'm going to have to mark my jars because the labels on CYO is not good at all. It's pretty bad actually. So I got 108, 104. I'm going to try to do a really good job and maybe lining them up because I've got a few other CYO foundations and the colors and the thing is with those foundations the colors are so hard they're just so hard to um, to get but I just wanted to share my earrings Aren't they pretty what do you think I really really like these a lot Stellar and Dot I never even heard of them but it was teaching a class and um, Kristen had come come in she's she's the uh, one of the agents in one of our offices that actually sells these so she'd come in and she actually wore these earrings and she had on a denim jacket and I can't remember the color of her top but she had on a denim denim jacket and the blue and the pink and the denim jacket was just it looked so cool she's beautiful young blonde you know just really really pretty pretty but the color combination was just really amazing on her. And then she was showing me, oh, and they're all reversible. So you can have, you can flip it over. You can have a different look. You can put the orange on. And, and I said, are they heavy? She said, no. And then she took them out of her ears. And I couldn't believe how light they were. And then she says, and they come with, you know, a smaller set. So you can kind of really mix and match. So I got into it and I just thought it was really cute. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, so hey, guys. I wanted to add this clip because these are those earrings. I had talked to you about the Stella and Dot earrings in the previous clip, but look at these. So this is using the same dark blue bottom, but on the top I have a really pale pink peachy color. And I put that combination on instead of the bigger, bolder pink that I had on before. I really, really like it. There's a smaller blackberry that I could put on. Green on one side, blackberry on the other. So just so you can see the different earring looks you can create with something like this. I think it's amazingly cool. I really like it a lot. I paid, I don't even want to let Jay know. I paid a lot of money for these. The the one, the this the earrings that and, I, and like I think there's like five different looks I can get out of it. So in reality, it's like five for the price of one, in my opinion. But I think it was like $69. And then for these, I think these were $49. These are beautiful. These are beautiful. They're beautiful. Oh, yes. Yes. They're beautiful. <laughs> Lips from Grand Cosmetics. This is their Plumping Liquid Lipstick. So I got this the other day, and I've already talked about the fact that I got their Grand Lips Plumping Lip Glossers. I got some clear, and I got some pretty colors, and I really like these. I've been using them since I got them almost every single day. Since I got this, this is a lipstick, a liquid lipstick. The color is Desert Peak, and it's a matte color. It actually goes on really nicely. Don't mind me, I got a little cut on my chin. When you're out hauling sticks and brush from your yard and pulling things, it's very easy to get yourself gouged up. So let me just show you this color. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to stick it on my hand. I want to make sure that you can see it. It's actually a really, really pretty, pretty color. A lot of the other shades that I really wanted to try, was they were already gone when I had requested this. But this was sent to me via the Octoly Network from Grand Cosmetics. And I truly appreciate the opportunity to review this. This wears really nice. And even though it's a matte, it doesn't dry down to the point of accentuating all your, link, your wrinkles, your lip lines, and all that stuff. So, which I don't like. But what I've been doing is I've been taking the Claire. You can see it's kind of smudged from my lipstick. Giving it a quick pump. And then going. It feels really nice. It feels really, really nice. So this, I think, has the nudes down pat. If you are a nude person, that didn't sound very good. But if you are into nudes, I think the perfect nudes, the glosses are beautiful. I think you're going to really like them. And I think this color 
gives you enough color to still be in that nude family, and I think that is really awesome. The other thing I wanted to share with you, and this is something that I purchased. This is not anything that was sent to me. The, the Grand Lips was sent to me. But I have really fallen in love with Cover FX Shimmer Reveal Amethyst. I have fallen in love with this color almost every day that I wear any purples. I will put a tiny pop of this in the center of my lid just to give me a little bit of a glitter or a glow or a highlight or whatever. I'm going to put it on my hand so you can see. It's very, very light. So underneath, can you see that at all? I don't know if that can show up. Right there is the Cover FX. It is just a very, very pretty, pretty, pretty purple. When I was in Ulta last, I saw that NYX, NYX has what they call glitter goals. The same idea as the Cover FX, but this is the purple. I'm going to put the purple. The purple is a lot darker. Can you see the... The outer one right here is the Cover FX. I don't think that this is picking it up at all right there. And then this one is, the, the inside is the Cover FX, and the darker purple one is the NYX. And the NYX color is retrograde. It's really, really pretty. It really is very, very pretty. If you want to, I mean, you can darken it up, obviously, by how much you put on. But because I use such a little amount of it, I don't want it to be darker. I, I don't. I want it to stay nice and light. I don't want to use that. And the next one I have is called Metro Tropical. I'm going to put this one on. Can you see? You probably can't. But NYX on the outside and the Cover FX in the middle and the Metro Tropical NYX on this side. So these three shades... I am looking for the NYX in a lighter purple shade to match the one from Cover FX because I will tell you the Cover FX is my favorite. I just can put a little pop. Let's see if I can do it. Probably can't because I don't well I don't have purple on my lids anyways. I literally put a little pop of it and you know right in the center of my eyelid. And then I sometimes, you know, obviously I might have to rub it in a little bit, depending on how much I did. But what it does is it gives my eye, I think, the prettiest little glow in the center. And I, I really like that. So, you know, here it is. It's night. It's, I know it's probably hard for you to believe, but I'm filming this at night. It is 6.30. I've worked all day long. I have not touched up my makeup at all. So... You get to see my boo-boos, my veins. The only thing I have done is added some lipstick. But the rest of my makeup that I have on is what I put on this morning when I left the house, with the exception of the little pop of Color FX that I just put on the center of my lid. And I don't know if you can see anything. I don't know, you know? So sometimes when people say, oh, you know... You, you're, you get a sparkle to your eye. I really think it's the cover of X. I don't think it's my eye, to be honest. I think it's the little sparkle they're seeing on the top of my lid. But I love this. Now, if I can find the, you know, the NYX, the NYX, in the same shade or close to that same shade, because that is the shade I really like, then I'm going to buy it. Because these work just as nice. I've worn all of them as this one. Little tiny dab. Last all day long. I haven't had any kind of creasing in my lash, my lids, nothing. They hold. They hold really nice. I also got a Sydney Grace. It is a cream eyeshadow. I got that from Marlene Fab and Glam. She had sent me that. Surprisingly, that cream eyeshadow from Sydney Grace, which is a, a more of a pinkish color, looks really, really, really pretty and lasts really nice. And I do the same thing. I just put a little bit on the center of my lid. It doesn't have the glow this has. It really doesn't. But it, it's a really pretty, it gives me a pretty pop of color. If I'm looking for a pop of color, it gives me a pop of color. And I really like that a lot. So I just wanted to share those things with you. The other thing that I do to add a little bit of a pop of color in the very middle is actually the the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. I mean, look at how beat up this is. I don't know if you can see that. Just a little bit of a pop of color. So I really like that. 
it also has a white. I'm not good with swatches. I'm just not, I'm just not a swatch queen. But that's what I use. And I, many of you have asked, what am I doing to get that little pop? Most of the time, it is going to be one of these. And most of the time, if I have any purples on, it's going to be the color FX. The rest of the time, it'll be the NYX or the Rimmel Scandalize. These are the three things. Now, when I travel to Vegas, I just brought these. They were sticks. I didn't have to worry about it. And it worked really nice. What do you think? What do you use? Do you wear anything like this on your eyes? So, hey, guys, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, but I have a funny feeling it'll be uploaded before Mother's Day. And so, therefore, I just want to wish you all a very, very wonderful weekend. And I will see you in my next video.